Hey everyone, um, my name is Rose and today I'm going to be sharing my scoliosis story. Um, so I was born with scoliosis, but it really wasn't, um, it was, really wasn't like that bad um, as I was getting older and um, things like that. It was just very mild and um, we just monitored it um, as I was growing up. So um, these pictures are from um, life before spinal fusion surgery. And um, I always loved doing a lot of activities. I love swimming and um, I love doing all kinds of um, pageants and all of that stuff. So these pictures were just uh, from me doing some fun things before surgery. Uh, this was when I was diagnosed um, with scoliosis. And this was really, um, this is when the scoliosis wasn't as like bad as it got, but um, it was really mild here. So uh, this was at the very beginning of my journey. And I think I was about 12 or 13 in that picture. Uh, this was when I was having bracing treatment. At first it was super scary. Like I didn't really know what to expect, but um, they recommended that bracing was probably the best option. So um, I was fitted for a brace and uh, later on I got it back from um, the brace person that made it for us. They, they made sure everything was perfectly fine for an overnight back brace and I wore it for a few months but it was super difficult to rest in and wear so um, I eventually stopped wearing it because it didn't prevent um, the curve. Really the curve was just getting a lot worse um, with the scoliosis so I knew that I was probably gonna have to have surgery at one point, but I didn't know um, exactly when. So um, then in 2020, uh, we had multiple more checkups and I eventually had the surgery on June 4th. Um, this was one of the last x-rays that I got before uh, my spinal fusion surgery and I believe the curve was about 64 degrees right there so that was um, when it got a lot worse than um, the beginning but yeah. Mm -hmm. um, these pictures are from uh, the first one is from the day of surgery that's me um, at the hospital there and um, I had not awoken yet from the surgery and then the second one is of course the x-ray you can see there um, they are able to fix the curvature with uh, rods and screws um, and then this was a really exciting day this is one of the post-op appointments and everything was just looking great um, my surgeon said and I was really excited so there's one of those um, before and afters and this is um, me raising some scoliosis awareness for some Instagram posts. So um, that shirt says, scoliosis changes one's life and definitely overcoming struggles, inspiring strength. And me and my mom just kind of made that um, shirt one day for uh, just some scoliosis awareness that we were doing. And then um, that's me holding one for June for scoliosis awareness month. And um, this is kind of what life has been like after surgery. We go to the beach a lot and um, I love the beach. It's one of my favorite places. And then that's just um, me wearing one of my shirts that my mom got me for Christmas. And it just talks about, like it says back surgery, been there, done that. So yeah. And um, this is me at some pageants. Um, I love doing pageants, they're a lot of fun and it's opened a lot of doors. Um, I love crowning and emceeing at a lot of the pageants, it's something new that I've done besides um, competing and participating. So this was uh, earlier this year and I was just um, handing that little girl one of her um, trophies there. So, and um, this is me hanging out with um, Tim Tebow. He does a lot of great things with the Tim Tebow Foundation and um, he's been a great friend to my family and I. My brother 
is a big part of the foundation. So it's just been nice getting to know him um, this year. Hi Rose, it's really nice to meet you. My name's Noelle. I was diagnosed with scoliosis when I was 12 years old as well, and then had spinal fusion surgery when I was 14, placing two rods and 19 screws in my spine to correct my curve. Uh, my first question for you is, I checked out your Instagram. I think it's really great. And I was just wondering what type of content that you make, what content is the most successful when it comes to engaging with your followers? Oh, I think um, probably the most successful ones are just the ones where it's more like um, real life stuff. I think it's just because people relate to that more, but um, I love engaging with the you know people and stuff like that. So they'll DM or something like that and have a question about the surgery. Um, but of course, most of the posts are about scoliosis related things, but most of the successful posts are surgery or recovery related posts. So, Yeah, I think uh, social media is a really great tool to find others with scoliosis because I was in the same boat where I felt like I was the only person with scoliosis and didn't know <laughs> anybody. So that's a great way to find people. Uh, yeah, my second yeah. question for you is now that you've experienced your scoliosis journey and you know what it's like and what you went through, what advice would you give to your younger self who was just diagnosed with scoliosis? Um, I think probably I would say um, to not, which is super normal to of course worry, but I would say, I guess, to not worry as much like the doctors, um, they care and they wanna help. And um, it's a really good you know, story to share with other people. And of course, you know, meeting other people that have it as well. So I'll probably say to my younger self to not worry as much and just kind of realize that it's going to all work out in the end. So <laughs> That's great advice. Thank you, Rose. Hey, Rose. Um, my name is Jules. Um, thank you so much for sharing your story with us. It was really impactful, and I think we all really enjoyed it. Um, I was diagnosed with scoliosis, I think, when I was two years old, and then I also wore a brace and I actually had surgery this past summer, um, two rods and 26 screws later, I stand two inches taller, which is great. Um, so my first question for you is, how has your life and more specifically your confidence changed after your surgery? Um, I think probably just um, getting like more open about it and more comfortable before surgery. I was kind of shy and I was like really embarrassed but um since surgery because it was really it was a huge big deal to my life I just kind of learned to embrace it and um mainly just kind of finding that confidence through it and um just really being open and sharing has kind of just built that confidence so and my second question is also about your social media platform, which I think is so cool. Um, how do you think your social media platform has impacted your and other people's scoliosis journey? Um, well, I hope it's brought like a lot of encouragement to other people and it's kind of helped me to see um, other people's stories. But uh, I guess the biggest impact is just seeing other people on social media that are promoting um, strength and stuff like that. And my goal is to help them um, feel strong while they're overcoming scoliosis too, so. Thank you, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Hey Rose, I'm Keegan. Uh, and when I was 13, I was diagnosed with severe scoliosis. And about six months later, I got VBT or vertebral body tethering, which is basically where I have eight screws in my spine and a rope to help me keep all my flexibility and continue to pursue musical theater, which is my passion. And since then, I've created my nonprofit, Keen Cares, where I continue to advocate for scoliosis as well. Uh, so my first question is, you mentioned being kind of scared of the unknown, and now you share your journey all over social media. So what piece of advice do you think is the most helpful to someone finding out they have scoliosis so that they aren't afraid to? Um, I think probably um, my biggest piece of advice would probably be just to um, 
keep being strong and just not giving up. And even when like it's scary and stuff, just kind of trusting that like everything will um, work out and definitely researching and seeing other people's stories always helped me. So I'll definitely recommend that to someone else too. That's awesome. Definitely researching really helped also with my surgery. And also my second question, I love your Instagram name at scoliosis.overcomer. <laughs> That's so cool. I love it. Um, how have you overcome the challenges before and after your surgery and inspire others to keep a very positive outlook? Um, I'll definitely say um, just, of course, just not giving up. Um, it's a lot of difficulties with pain and just other things like that through the treatments and stuff. Um, definitely not giving up is one of my biggest um, things that I will just keep telling people to um, do, even when it's hard or even when you like you don't know the answer and just keep trying. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. I really enjoyed um, being here today and being able to talk with you all. And thank you so much. Mm-hmm. <laughs>